MBF is a two-channel modulation source. Each channel has 16 selectable waveforms and a control for speed. The waveforms include triangle, sine, dome, ramp down, ramp up, stepped ramp up, square, short impulse square, short impulse triangle, stepped square ramp down, random stepped, growing random ramp up or staircase, random impulse size squares, random impulse size triangles, Noise, and finally pitched noise. A modification to the latest release of the Zone BF can be found on the back of the PCB. A jumper for each channel, one on the top and two on the bottom, can be displaced or removed to switch the sync in input to CV in input to control the speed. Putting the jumpers back in place, we are now back in sync mode. The alignment of the ribbon cable is red stripe down as marked on the PCB. Now we'll take a more practical look at some of those features. This patch shows you how the sync function works. I'm patching the output of one channel of the zone BF to the frequency modulation of the domino. Then I'm taking the output of the first channel of the zone BF and patching it into the sync input of the second channel. When channel 2 receives a signal, it resets its waveform. Adjusting the speed of channel 1 changes when the reset happens. For this patch I'll be using poles a useful attenuverter. With no connected input, the poles acts as a fixed voltage source. With the zone BF in CV mode, the output of the poles controls the speed function. Patching in another channel from the zone BF automates this process. This patch uses sync in and CV in to build a more complex chain of automation. Here I'm also using the zone BF as an audio source via the noise waveform. The multiple you can see on the left is sharing a sync signal from the first zone BF. This is acting like a clock keeping time within the patch.
Attached to the CV input of the domino, the Zone BF is generating a random melody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 